wonderful old stonework, the mother of all stone walls. So there you have it. That takes you north all the way eventually to Plum Island and Newburyport. More immediately it takes you to the Borderlands State Park Visitor Center and three miles of Sharon before you actually leave the place. And this is close to the edge of the parking lot. Sunlight gleaming on the moss and the plethora of Lycopodia. Looking back up toward the Borderland Visitor Center and looking ahead towards Rockland Street. Very mossy. Light's pretty low this time of year. We've found another stone wall section. Been a casualty of Hurricane Sandy. Interesting sedges. Very rooty. And that looks back towards the visitor center, Sharon. And this takes us ahead to Easton and Rockland Street where we can hear motor activity already. The redolent whoosh of tires on pavement acting as a cue. A Pavlovian indication that we are near the comforts of the car. Large pines, white pines. It's the main thing you encounter coming in from the south is this grove of pines. And an understory of beach 
I haven't been looking for bear claw marks. I don't know if there are any. If there were to exist, they'd be on a tree like that. Beech trees are the ones you look for. I haven't seen much in the way of antler rubbings from deer either, but I haven't been looking for that. It's usually something you spot later in the year. Generally, the November end of the season is the minimalist time. Only the hardy year-round stalwarts are here to make noise. Your blue jays, your creepers, and nuthatches, and ever cheerful chickadees, scolding chipmunks, and chittering squirrels, and so forth. And here we are at the southern eastern trailhead for Borderland State Park. We have a stern sign from the Commonwealth telling you to keep your firearms and uh, hunting schemes out of here, please. It's a park. They provide many other places such as wildlife management areas and in most cases state forests for you to go around and hunt things. The Bay Circuit Trail will now head this way down Rockland Street and continue south. We're gonna pick it up at a couple of other spots. It's mostly following a utility line here, which isn't the most interesting thing. <laughs> 